make music that resembles inside of my head in a specific genre you know people ask me what kind of music I make it's kind of hard to describe that you just hook some mics up to the inside of your brain it's a little hard to describe that Harvardstein USA came from one day I got really stoned and went up into the mountains and just brought my audio recorder and my notebook. And I just sat there underneath what would typically be a small waterfall, but it wasn't raining, so it was just this dry kind of foliage ridden area that I snuggled into with my notebook. And as I sat there, these lines started coming to me. And every time one line would come to me, I would just write it down. No filter, just write it down, write it down. It's been about a year now since I released my very first album, which was just a collection of really shittily recorded songs. But I've had a lot of practice since then, and now I think this is it. This is the one shot I get, and this is probably the nicest house I'll live in for the next 30, 40 years. So I need to really utilize it, and this seemed like the perfect time to do that. <laughs> uh, I, just, I just got kicked out. Um, I'll tell you later at some point, but I have to move all of my stuff into my dad's space. house I had this specific album uh, that I was recording and I still have all the songs and all the equipment to record but I don't have the environment so I had to put Harvard Stein USA on hold and make this other album that I'm gonna record when I get set up in my new apartment in my studio in Tucson so I'm gonna be working on that it went from an all acoustic record to pretty much an all electronic and sample based album that I'm working on now. So um, there's that. I got an internship at a studio up there just like sweeping the floors. And eventually after a while of doing that, I'll get access to the actual studio and I could just go in there and record. So um, looking forward to that for sure. That's kind of where I'm headed. Life's kind of crazy. If there's one thing I've learned in the past year, it's to not have expectations. That's, that's pretty much where I'm at. But yeah, a lot of the time I'm just like sat here writing or uh, watching um, Nat Geo or Gumby, just kind of stuck here. Like the only thing I really can do is just keep making stuff. I'm happy doing music. That's what I really love to do. And I'll do it whether or not I get paid. But if I get paid for it, that just means I'll be able to be more stable and spend more time actually making stuff. I would like to see the documentary take a shift and kind of turn into something that's really happy at the end. Like, oh, he, uh, he ended up making this 
this album that you wanted to make, but that's unrealistic. There's no real way for me to do that. The more realistic outcome of the doc is this, like literally me sitting in this chair smoking a cig. Because <laughs> you could leave the camera running for, you know, probably months on end and still find me here. <laughs>